Here's a short anatomy lesson to illustrate the relationship between your spinal column and your peripheral nerves, i.e. the nerves that go into your extremities, your arms and your legs. So as you can see, in the cervical spine, there are eight nerve rootlets that branch out from either side, and as they proceed downwards into the arm, they combine into what are called the cervical plexuses. And from there, the plexuses turn into the major nerves that innervate the arm the median nerve, the ulnar nerve, and the radial nerve. Now, if you have numbness or tingling a certain set of fingers, then we could pinpoint more accurately where the lesion is. So if you have numbness or tingling in your pinky finger and half of the ring finger, that's the ulnar nerve, which is in the lower, starts out in the lower part of the cervical spine. And if it's more in the thumb and index finger, that's the C6 and C7 nerve root that form the median nerve. As we approach the lumbar spine, we see the lumbar plexus that branches out from either side of the sacrum, and it forms the sciatic nerve, which is the largest nerve in the body, that runs all the way down the back of your leg, down to your calf, and down to the bottom of your foot. If you have leg pain or numbness or tingling, it usually is caused by a bulging disc or some other protrusion that is pressing against one or several of the nerve roots that come out from either side of the lumbar vertebrae. In rare cases, tumors and other space-occupying lesions can generate sciatica.